What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to this series on Python. In the last video, we learned about functions. We learned how to create functions and why they are used. In that video, we also learned to pass arguments to a function. In this video, we will learn about different ways we can use to pass arguments to a function. So let's get started. I have this program to add two numbers from the last video. Here we have called the add underscore numbers function with two arguments. Then our function adds those two numbers and returns the sum. These arguments we pass to the function are called positional arguments because the first argument 5.4 is assigned to the first parameter n1 and the second parameter 6.7 is assigned to the second parameter n2. These arguments are passed based on their position. Now let me modify this program and remove this 6.7 from the function call. Can you guess what will happen? Let me run this code. As you can see, we get an error, type error, add underscore numbers missing one required positional argument n2. This error message is telling us that we need to pass a second argument during the function call because our add underscore numbers function takes two arguments n1 and n2. In such cases, we can provide default values to parameters in the function definition, which we will see next. I still have this program from the last example which gave us an error. It was because there is one argument in the function call, but two arguments in the function definition. To fix this issue, either we can add a second parameter in the function call or we can provide a default value to the parameters. Let me provide default values to parameters in this program. So I'll say n1 equals 100 and I'll say n2 equals 1000. Now I've given 100 as the default value to n1 and 1000 as the default value to n2. Let me run the program again. This time when I ran the program, the output was 1005.4. What's happening here? Well, what's happened here is we have provided 5.4 as an argument. This value will be passed to n1. However, we haven't provided the second argument. So the default value of n2 equals 1000 will be used. And the sum of 5.4 and 1000 is 1005.4. Let me modify this program again and this time I won't pass any arguments. So I'll remove 5.4 and in this case the default values of n1 and n2 will be used as we are not passing any values. Let me run this code and as you can see we are getting 1100 which is the sum of the default values 100 and 1000. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. In Python, we cannot only pass arguments to a function based on position but we can also pass arguments by name. Let me give you an example. Here we are passing Jack to the name parameter and what's going on to the message parameter. These are positional arguments. Now let me call this function again, but this time I will pass arguments by name. So I'll say greet message equals howdy and I'll say name equals Jill. During this second function call, we have specified the arguments by name. So howdy is passed to the message parameter and Jill is passed to the name parameter. The order of the arguments doesn't matter here because we are using name to specify which argument is passed where. These arguments are called keyword arguments. There are a couple of things we haven't mentioned about arguments in this video for simplicity. If you're interested to learn more about arguments, visit our website programmers.com. I posted the link in the description below. Now let me recap the concepts we learned in this video. When we pass arguments to a function without specifying the name, the arguments in the function call is assigned to parameters in the function definition based on the position. 
That means that the first argument is assigned to the first parameter and the second argument is assigned to the second parameter and so on. These are called positional arguments. You can also give names to arguments during a function call. These arguments are called keyword arguments. The order of arguments doesn't matter when we use keyword arguments. We can provide default values to parameters in the function definition. These values will be used if we do not pass arguments during the function call. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you are just watching the video without writing any code, I highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own. The only way you can be a good programmer is by trying. By the way, you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub. I provided the link in the description below. Feel free to copy the programs there and edit them as you please. And if you have any questions and feedback, use the comment section below. In the next video, we will talk about local and global variables in Python. Join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together. If you like this video, hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.